Welcome back. I'm Mark Lucas, Volunteer in Paul, Chicago. We're taking you on a step-by-step -step journey to help make the transition back to the workforce and see what is possible, not just for you, but more importantly for you. Once you've got food crate training and work on some independence training, it's time to talk about how to prepare for those long days while you're gone. One of the wonderful things that you can do is prepare your pet's toys to keep them busy while you're gone. A call, maybe some of his favorite or her favorite grown cup treat stuff inside. It's a wonderful way to keep them busy. Right, Winston? Go get it, buddy. Along with Kongs, another wonderful thing to put inside your dog's crate is his favorite toy or blanket to help him feel secure. Also, puzzle toys that you can go to your local pet food store or maybe you want to try and make one of your own. I have a wonderful tip. You can take a muffin tray, which we've all been making through this pandemic, fill it with a couple of their favorite treats, and put tennis balls over them. Not all of them, but just some of them. It's a great way to engage the mind and have them find where those treats are hidden while you're gone. If you've got a backyard, it's a great opportunity to get your pet out. Toss around a tennis ball before you leave. Get that exercise in to wear them out. That's how you pop. Consider switching up your routine a little bit. I know we've all been sleeping in a lot lately. Now that you're going to be getting ready to go back to work, it's time to set that alarm clock. Get up a little bit earlier. Take your pup out on a long walk in the morning. Maybe visit a different location. Try a new route. You're going to want to engage their mind to help wear them out and give them that necessary exercise to help them sleep through the day. And when you return from work, it's another wonderful opportunity for you to get back outside wear your furry friend out. If you have to work late, or you plan on working more than six hours, you're going to want to find a dog walker in your neighborhood to help take your pet out. A wonderful resource is maybe a vet or friends and family. Someone else you know who has a dog who can make a recommendation for you. You might want to consider daycare. It's a wonderful opportunity for your pet to get lots of exercise, meet new friends, and have a wonderful time under supervision. You can talk to your vet, your friends, and your family for recommendations. Finally, consider visiting the Paw Chicago Training Center. We have amazing trainers that can help you through all of your issues going back to work, get you and your pets set up for training, both in person and virtual. Remember, make the shorter time that we spend together even more special and engaging. Keep your pet from getting bored and ensure that you have a successful return to the workforce. And don't forget, visit our website, pawchicago.org, to sign up for training classes at our training center or maybe to meet your next best friend to keep your buddy at home company. Thank you so much for watching.